welcome trailblazers to today's tutorial where i will be showing you how to log automated emails onto the related records within salesforce as you may know whenever you invoke an email alert uh, through a workflow rule a process builder or a flow those emails aren't logged on the record it is a very common uh, ask within the community and in fact there's an idea that's been pitched to salesforce with over 60,000 points, but unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're going to deliver anytime soon. So today's tutorial will cover how to create a process builder using a package that we will be installing from the App Exchange. The package is called Send Emails, and we will be using a process builder to send automated emails, fully replacing email alerts, and as a result, we're going to see how the emails are logged on the related record. So we're going to be using my own personal dev organization where I already have the package installed. And let's go into our process builders. I already have one created, but let's run through it. So let's open it up. It's called case automation. And I have two nodes here. One node will be sending an, an email whenever a new case has been created, while the other node will be sending an email when the case has been fully resolved. So our very first node, it's a simple formula. When the case is new, send the email. Our second node, when the status equals closed, send the resolution email. And let me show you the immediate actions. As you can see here, our immediate actions they they invoke apex this apex class is included with a package that you will install so all you have to do is whenever you're creating your immediate action just call upon the send email class and start populating these parameters on the right hand side so the parameters that you're going to be populating are your related to id so in this case in our scenario we want to relate these emails to the case that's going to be triggering these emails. The contact slash lead ID is going to be the recipient who is receiving these emails. And our the body template unique name, you can introduce there the unique name or the API name of the email template that you're going to be calling upon. So once you have your process builder created, let's go back into Salesforce. And let's get the case created so we can show you how those cases look when they're logged. So let's go into cases. Let's hit new. And here we're going to use my own personal contact for testing purposes. And let's introduce a subject. So let's hit save. So now notice on the right hand side in the activities panel, we have an email that has been sent. It's called your case has been received. That is an email template that I have in the system, as well as another email template called case resolution, which you will be seeing shortly. So this email is being sent automatically as soon as the case is created via that process builder that I showed you earlier. So if I expand this, see some additional details. We can see the, the subject of the email. We can see the body, who the recipient is and who sent the email. And all of this is logged right in your activities panel on that related record. So right now, if I change the status of this case to closed, you'll see that I'll have one more logged email that's going to be sent automatically. So let's change it to closed. And now notice on the right hand side, we've, we've successfully sent the your case has been resolved email. And if I expand it, here we can see the from address, the subject, the body, and who the recipient is. And what's great about this is that you can have, you can have all of these emails logged on your related records for auditing purposes, and just to maintain that nice history of of any outbound emails you may be sending out uh, 
through any automations within Salesforce, completely replacing email alerts. Thank you guys for watching and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.